what has become of this city. There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. G get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, Perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. When I'm dead, the pain will all go away. <laughs> my lord, the filthy Moorish are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come back, my liege. You are only hope. Good. <laughs> Kids, clear. As I was saying, you can't stop the king. He is all powerful. What a hiding! Oh shit! Clear. Oh, 
Oh my god, he defeated the dragon! No freaking way! That kid's amazing! With his infinite wisdom and strength, can get past this impossible barrier? Well, King Douchebag is such a skillful warrior! Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realm. Holy fuck, he's amazing. Speak, Bard! What happened to the Stick of Truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> the wizard is gone! My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point! In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Well, nothing left to do but go home and play Star Trek Bridge Crew. Maybe we can play our own game. Like, um, oh, I, I don't know. I'm bummed. I was gonna take up a trade, learn how to fletch arrows. Oh, hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Eric's spending so much time playing superheroes, I'm afraid he's not eating. Donkey. Balls. Poop. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. Yes, officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Fuck. You, Mom. Maybe we should go to Reasons and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there. Excuse me. Super Craig. Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? 
Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, wait. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Ah, I see you've noticed my alt costumes for special missions. I needed the aqua suit when Professor Chaos tried digging a drain at the bottom of Stark's pond. The armor suit's something I came up with to protect against human cat's lasers, if he ever turns against me. This is the Coon Cycle. Still in the design phase are the Coon Boat, Coon Plane, and Coon Hover Ramp. Well, that took long enough. Is the furnace device active? <laughs> You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Speedster. Blaster. A speedster. Super fast and just, that's about it. Just fast. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room, out in the hallway. You saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn. First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist. Get my atom! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! The kid's too speedy. Let's get out of here! With the intruder soundly defeated, you thought you were safe until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could end. <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage. Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this. You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! <laughs> nice. He was just too speedy. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. 
Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Oh, it's Selfie. Yes, I've heard of those. Oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. I can't be in a photo with someone with so few followers. Sorry. Hey, you got it open. You're the real deal, little superhero. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. Well, I guess we have enough mutuals that we can selfie. Not bad, Butho. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Look out, Butt Lord! Those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid! Everyone knows Kiefer's mom has the nicest boobs. Dude, shut up about my mom's boobs, bro. Why don't you make me zit face? You guys want to go to the movies? There might be some boobs in Wonder Woman. Movies are dumb. Let's go shoot some hoops. Basketball's stupid, bro. Hey, hey, I know. Let's go beat up a squirrel. Dude, we beat up a squirrel yesterday, bro. You guys want to check out more of my sweet dance moves? Who said you have sweet dance moves? Your mom said it right before she let me touch your boobs. Check this out, pussies. Now watch this, bro. This one I learned from Usher, bitches! You tampons can't even step to this shit! Soon you will be approaching Super Craig's Fortress of Solitude. Super Craig hasn't checked in. I hope nothing's wrong. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from escaping. You do the rest, butthole. Be careful. This is probably the most challenging mission you've ever been given. Oh, sweet. Look, there he is, in the vent, way up high. Almost! Do it again! Whoa, oh, there he goes! Follow that guinea pig! You just smashed that box like it was nothing. Amazing! Quick, hit that box with your thing. Whoa, shit! I can't believe you just did that! You're so good at this! Move that thing out of the- Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Use the power of your ass to overwhelm his super sensitive spell. Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Ah, 
Ah, yes. Who wouldn't want a selfie with the Craig of Steel? <gasps> okay, later, butt stuff. New kid. Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Stop! New kid, stop! You see all those little red Lego bricks? That's lava. You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon Fred. Professor Chaos. That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Who would do such a thing? It's just so mean. Hey, kid, you know anything about this? Somebody's keying my wife's car at night. It's happening every night. I thought it was just one of you damn kids, but well, Here, come here, take a look at this. Whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes. I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something. You won't forget me that easy. I thought we had something. I'll tell the world about you, bitch. Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. I need a Jimmy from my Peter, Billy. Can you get me a condom? Hello, I'm Tony. No way, Kurt. Your follower count is way too low. I gotta protect my hashtag brand. Ah, I see you've made it to the Palace of the Clouds. That's home base to human kite. Perhaps you can find him inside. Who the hell are you? Really? You sent a newbie to my distress call? You're such a dick, Coon. Sorry, kid, but my problem is too big for a rookie. A few days ago, there was an anomaly in the universe. Another version of me, the human kite from an alternate dimension, showed up here and is destroying everything. Right now, it's upstairs in my room. I don't think anything can stop it. Human kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've gotta really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle, I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe! What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe, we're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my powers. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite, I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot of sparring. Is this a no contact thing? Full contact, not sparring. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I didn't bring my pads. It's happening. Get him, new kid. Cousin Kyle, we can beat him if we join forces. Yeah, I really want to, but parallel universe rules say I can't. <laughs> Ooh, be careful, please. I have a number of existing ailments that I don't want to exacerbate. Oh, jeez, did you have to hit so hard? Oh, my, there's a lot of decisions in this game, aren't there? You cannot play. That's a decision you could make. Oh, don't be silly. That wasn't too hard, right? I don't want to cause any permanent damage. 
Oh, you guys, time out. My vertigo is starting to act up. Jesus, come on, dude. Okay, I think my inner ear fluids have stabilized now. Uh, that last hit didn't count, right? I'm undoing that damage, okay, Kyle? Phew. That's some classic alternate universe bullshit. Hold on, I need a timeout so I can use my inhaler. <laughs> Cousin Kyle, I called a timeout and he didn't listen. You know my asthma flares up when I exert myself. <laughs> Do you know kites are really quite fragile? Yeah, I think this would be a lot more fair if I had a shield. Some kind of shield, like a like the Safer Tura, which also has a great sentimental value. Dude, human type is an alien. There's no Jewish stuff involved. And you can't just make up powers in the middle of a battle. I'm not making it up. It's totally canon in my alternate universe. Ah. Ah. Oh, geez, I didn't think I'd actually hit you. Wait, I thought I should get this turn instead of the new kid because he didn't wait when I said time out earlier, so I think it should be my turn now. Are you kidding me? That's totally cheating. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphor phonique for my ear because I got a scrape on it by being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. Not bad, new kid, not bad. Way to go out and get some followers on Instagram. I think you're ready for the next level. Head back to the coon lair. Coon, ask. Ah, there you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay, you totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on, give it a shot. Every artifact has a specific place it can be slotted on your body. Equip this one to boost your strength stats. It might be a little uncomfortable at first, but your DNA is fusing with it. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. And you can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Just throw a rock at it. No, I get to throw a rock at it. Just throw a firecracker instead. Nuh-uh, those are expensive. Give me the rock. You pussy. Come on, light that shit. Hey, it's that little fourthy again. All right, fourthy, time to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Are we really going to take on the sixth graders? No mercy, guys! Ow! Damn, you're a quick little bastard. What? Sixth graders can't die. We're immortal. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now and needing to punch you with one of them. Got room for like a whole hamburger now. For Forthy Scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. If you'll excuse me, I have a balloon to piss in. Feel the rack of human tight. Stupid Forthy with a kite on his back. 
<laughs> Hope you enjoyed your laser treatment. This move is awesome against relatively weak enemies like the yeah, I saw that coming. Take your medicine, Forthies. <laughs> that sucks for you, new kid. Yeah, I call that one jet stream. It's a heal. Pretty handy. Back in business. Mega Bomb Hut. Man, we kicked some sixth grade ass. Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. See ya, man. All right, that was sweet. Wait till it gets on the internet about how the coon and friends beat up four sixth graders. This is great for our franchise. Kind of sucks for you, though, new kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Okay, now go and get our franchise more followers. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You didn't fill out your kryptonite. So, what, you're invincible? There's no way. That's against the rules. You have to have a weakness. <sighs> go find Mosquito. He can help you out. I'll put the rest of the character sheet stuff on your map. Congratulations, new kid. Your fast travel system is fully oper operate. Uh, uh, good to go. Find more stations to expand your network. And when you get into trouble, Fast Pass will be there. Bye. Hope my new nose looks better than my old nose. Is it itchy in here or is that just my face? Next time I'll bring in my own magazines. I hope my stand didn't talk you into dressing like that. Let's make a deal. I'll follow you on Coonstagram if you take a selfie with me. How does that sound? Your mother picked out that outfit for you? Someone should have a word with her. Okay, sure. Boy, won't Wendy be surprised. Okay with you if I go back to work now? Wonderful. Yes and yes. Oof, asshole. You're no match for my army, coon friends. That's going to leave some scars. Pandemonium! Don't just take that lying down, butt boy. Now you see me? Congrats, Super Friends! Car! The car! Get out of the street, friggin' kids! Phew, all clear. Time to shoot the lasers. Laser Inferno! <laughs> Here I always thought times were late. Happy to change your mind, Super Craig. Who says I changed my mind? Boom! Oh good, the new kid doesn't smell like burning hair anymore. Pegasus Punkaroo! Victorious! This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. The burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. Now that you've had your first taste of crafting, let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchilada. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell, have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history with a selfie. 
And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. We're friends, right? Too late, we are now. You want a selfie with me? Okay. Do you want to play with me? You took a selfie with Ike? Let's do a better one. <gasps> Yay, now we're real friends. Aren't superheroes kind of played out? Remember Passion of the Christ? Oh, I don't want to remember that. Remember when Sinbad played a genie in Shazam? Yeah, actually, no, I don't mean me. I mean me. You are in direct violation. Back away from the dank nun. New kid, Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today? Well, come right over here, cutie. One of our Raisins girls will be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> Yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women's. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh, my God, the mission. My fellow superheroes. I've completely forgotten. Back away, temptresses. Mosquito knows what you were trying to do. Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are mosquitoes kryptonite. You gotta get me out of here. Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill. Ha <laughs> I think not. You tried to charm me, I will not pay this bill. You have to leave a tip, asswipe. They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid. Let's do this. <laughs> Mosquito is coming with us. No chance. See, Mr. Mosquito, we told you everyone else in here was a loser. You're some losers now. I can't leave now. I got a pitcher of lemonade on the way. Welcome to the team. You're gonna need a total makeover. Not some sense in a mosquito, that'll snap it out of it. I feel so tingly. Oh, damn it, Clyde. I'm gonna knock some sense into you. Nice hit, sweetie. Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Oh! My two blank mouth marks are a gape in amazement. You move with a sense of urgency uncommon among mortals. I like our eyes. Hey, cuties. I hope you're having a good time. Actually, I don't care. <laughs> Next time, I'll go for the eyes, Bay. Great fun. I guess a guy's gotta eat. <laughs> Looks like you caught a few flies in your grill. Maybe keep your mouth closed next time. Glad you guys were here. <laughs> Don't sweat it, new kid. Hooray, right, lemon bars for everyone. Come on, this is our chance. 
Huh, those witches are my kryptonite, and you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt. But, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, butt kid. You can tell me. All right, all right, let me see your character sheet. <laughs> Great! Job done! Your kryptonite is officially noted! You no, know, Mosquito must be off! Call on me if you should need me, coot friend! Thanks, kid. You're better people than that no good dad of yours. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're teepeeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the heart sell, but. Do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Moo. Oh, hey. I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. Oh, I guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. Oh, oh I guess you want to do it the hard way. <laughs> All of God's children are deserving of his love, so just hold still. Open yourself to God's love. God damn it! I can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 Mel Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. I would be proud to have a photo of us together, after all we've been through. <laughs> I'm watching you. No horseplay. Sweet. Oh, hi. You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid. It's, it's really simple. When, uh, 
when you want to talk about your sex, you simply, you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now uh, uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short, okay? So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you know... You don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt, huh? okay? Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye now, okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Yeah, <laughs> that settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. Bug bite. <laughs> My two black mouth parts are in gape and amazement. Dude, you are trying way too hard. That's going to leave some scars. Ah, do over. I'll whoop you like your daddy never done. Yeehaw! Ah, no fair. <laughs> and stay down. Here I go. I am out of fuck to get. Your punches make the blood pool nicely under their skin, Super Craig. Prime for drinking. Well, dude. Nine and ten. Blah! Bravo. Great job. Etc. Etc. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. Remember Capri, son? Oh, those are the greatest I remember. Oh, I remember. Remember Toucan Sam? Sure, I remember him. He was fantastic. Sure, barge right in, why don't you? Let's take a selfie and be Coonstagram friends, new kid. Help Jimmy finish up his big project, and sure, I'll take a selfie. What parent would let their kid dress like that? I just have to get a picture with my son's famous friend. The unavoidable outcome may be a conflict the likes of the the 70s. It appears You escaped from the circus, kid? I sure miss watching them whip those elephants. I can't believe I agreed to this. God, I feel like I've been waiting three years for this bus. Look at you with all that storage on your device. Ah, new kid, come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? 
Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. Blaster with range powers like Cyclops. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. As a blazing blaster hero, you began to overheat as the fire in your belly ignited. You wasted no time delivering sick burns into the villains before you. As the flames cleared, the intruders realized what they were up against. Shit, this little flamer means business! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with fire? The intruders moved in to attack. You've left us no choice, kid. Ha, ha, ha! With the enemies closing in, you gave yourself some space by knocking your foes back. But the intruders wouldn't take getting pushed around lightly. Hey, you can't push us around like that. Did they know they set themselves up for destruction. So much range. I'll just get out of the way. His comrade fallen, the extra ugly one closed in. Not so hot now, you little flamer. Yeah, we showed him. You were gravely injured. But the intruder's blows only awakened the fires that burned within you. You swallowed the pain and unleashed your ultimate attack! And so you beat them! You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened! You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cunin friend alert! Cunin friend alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cunin friend alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pals! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! This way, butthole! Toward the bus stop! It's a quicker travel! My Coon sense is on fire! Freedom Pals is on the move! A confrontation is brewing! Yes, this way! Keep going! Towards the bus stop! Man, escort missions are the worst. Uh, God damn it! So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movies. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! by people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. 
Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Motherfucker! Good friend, deal with these assholes! Combat mode engaged. Red squad. I am Wonder Tweak, champion of justice. What? That's gay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. New kid, don't let Cartman fool you! I'll drink to that! Kite, you're fighting for the wrong side! Make way for Mysterion! Today, you cross paths with the wrong immortal fourth grader. Car! Car! Get out of the street, friggin' kids! Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear! Suck on this. I'm about to bring it. Satisfying. Yeah, I saw that coming. I will right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you. Wait, me? Ugh, lame. I don't care, lame. You're like the lamest lame of all time. That was lame, too. It's been fun, Peter Pals, but now we have to say goodbye. my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Ah, uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pals is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carmen, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! No, 
don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid. Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom. Stop, and stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay. Calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a king. school student. But then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick. We're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Hey, ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner. A loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fight crime. Fuck a bitch! Let's see how you like this! I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick! Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive! I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here! Hey, give me my keys! You are in no condition, sir! I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine. Okay? Give me my keys. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Take care, sidekick. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not debilitated, I'm just jovial. Hey, I almost spilled my drink! They don't know it hit him! I killed him! I'm not even buzzed anymore. What do you say you just give me those? No, give me my fucking keys! Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh god, I'm pooped. That's gonna hurt when I can feel pain again. Alright, you're gonna get it now. I'm fine to drive, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm fine. You should be fine to drive at approximately 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's 11 a.m. somewhere. I'm keeping your keys in that silo. You're no match for Captain Diabetes and you crusty sidekick. I swear to God, I swear to God I can drive. I'll get those keys right after this short little nap. Good night, Mr. Mike. All right, sidekick, we have a job to do. Go on in, there's a shortcut through human kite speed. Kyle's off on another mission right now. We're on our own, sidekick. It's up to us to get to the bottom of this. The shortcut's up there in the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry and strong. I call it my diabetic rage. It's kind of like when Wolverine took that green stuff at the end of Logan. Yeah, it's kind of like that. That's one second. This is Humankind's secret base. Farts make me angry. The coon says it's because my mom farted when she gave birth to me, and that's why I have diabetes. I, I don't think that's why I have diabetes, though. I think it was a gift to help fight crime. The shortcut is through that window. The fearless hero and his sidekick descend into the dark night, ready to strike down evil and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Kuhn made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. <laughs> Woo! Burnham County fucking rocks! Best band in the fucking world! They could have me oh, if they man, wanted you to! Pissed in my pants. They have had me. Yeah, country music rules! The Peppermint Hippo is past the square. My diabetic legs will do just the trick. No, but sure. Yeah. Okay, you must need insulin. Need insulin fast. <laughs> and I am back to normal. You see how masterfully I have learned to control my diabetes. Follow me this way. It is. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters and lots of boobies inside. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Stand aside, citizen. It is I, Captain Diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. Hmm, what to do? Hey, will you kids get out of here already? If you're gonna talk, take it the fuck outside. I told you to get out of here. Hey, there's fucking sweet hot tits back there and you're too young to see them, so fuck off! No one under 21 can see those hot fucking tits, all right? Get out! Look, everyone knows it's physically impossible to get past a red velvet rope, so just go away! Hmm, there must be another way in somewhere. Oh, of course! Stand aside, sidekick! We made it! Our girl 
boy. Uh, what are you, a leprechaun? Okay, we made it inside the strip club. Wow, these ladies are really, uh, moving. Well, don't freak out, Psychic. We're superheroes. We can handle this. One of these ladies has information about the missing cat. But who? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pick someone and take him to the VIP room. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's the fucking hottest fuck. Is that right? Would you like to take her to VIP? I don't know. She's kind of short. I like them short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, let's get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick, you know what this means. <sighs> the VIP room. What kind of move was that? Come on! Look, I'm not gonna pay for this. Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo. Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I, and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course, hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid, come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Ha-ha, I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes! Oh shit, my boner is weighing me down. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. That's the last time I pay for a high-priced $20 stripper. They don't know what hit him. I got a Groupon that'll get me and four friends 30% off chubs if we show up before seven. Ha! Well, that must have hurt. Surrender, super twerkers. I feel super twerking through my veins. Dads, anyone like a dance? Hey, no more of that dancing for you. I want to go to one of those communist countries that give out government subsidized trucks. The nerve of that villain! Ha! <laughs> ha! These guys are no match for us! I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and tell them you only gave me half a job! Oh, oh shit! I think I sprayed my dick! I know a girl in Cambodia that'll give you a job and teach you how to kickbox for the price of one! Ah, there's something to remember our special night by. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches' names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. Newton, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. <gasps> I got it. Gin and tonics always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. to spike that DJ drink with around here. Heck of a job, butthole. Hmm. Hmm, do you think it's gross enough to knock the DJ out of commission? Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry you had to see that, sidekick. But nothing in this world makes me more angry than farts. It awakens the deep-seated rage that I harbor within me. I wish it didn't have to be farts. But that'll definitely take the DJ out long enough for us to call out Classy. All right, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, oh man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your interest. Great work, you kid. Wow. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick to fuck the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute. You ain't the DJ. That must be her new kid. Oh, shit. It's 5 0. Cops are here. After her. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Ugh. Motherfucking cocksucking little prick. I'm going to kill you. Ooh. Tiny cop got me all messed up. Give it up for Paris. Ooh la la, need I say more yes? We need to get the classy before the stripper horde overwhelms us. Here comes our favorite flower fellatio. Give it up for Fuchsia. <laughs> Did it just get a lot spicier in here? Oh, that's why it's Esmeralda. We've got to catch class down the hallway, side quick, quickly. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting mixed up in this combat shit. Get out of here, Classy. We got this. Yeah. I got my stank on that one. Nothing kind of is no match for the power of diabetes. And subbing in from the day shift, give it up for Blaze. Hey, can we turn the house lights down just a touch? Ow! Ah, uh, Mama's mad now, sugar. <laughs> she can smash a watermelon between her thighs. It's Anastasia. Keep moving towards the exit, Jacket. Watch out for our next dancer, people. She's the undefeated titan of twerking. Say hello to Trixie. Ugh. Hey, we ain't paid to take this shit from 10-year-old Johns. <laughs> oh, you little bastards done fucked up. Go get him, Bootay. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of quickies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Bootay. Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this, Bootay. 
I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. I'm gonna sit on you till your eyes pop out of your head, honey. I give you a hug. You don't stand a chance against an ass that size. Normally, guys pay me a lot of money for that. This time, honey, I'm gonna go rest my bootay. Hey, let me in, you asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this thing. It is time for diabetic rage. Even my diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh god. <sighs> it's too much. I need my insulin. I need my. Oh no. Oh god. I'm out of insulin. You guys to help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm, I'm dying. Oh god. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <sighs> This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Is everything cool over there? Keep, keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted Tex Mix. Tex Mix. Not just any handcrafted Tex Mix. It's got to be something extra special. You know what to do, new kid. I, I'm alive? What happened? Who are you? Ah! Wait a minute. What happened? I thought I died from diabetes. I remember seeing a bright light. The hand of God reaching towards me. Then somebody farted in my face and I was back. I can almost still smell it. Wow, your farts can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that stripper. Two friends. We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant. Requesting backup. You heard him. All coon friends to the book of the Fagagini. And I said, you know what your problem is? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. I did. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. 
I just don't get how these people can get high every night and feel like it's okay. Oh, I know. It's like clearly you're trying to run away from your problems. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, you obviously aren't happy with your marriage. <laughs> yes, I think a lot of these druggies do what they do because they're in unhappy relationships. <laughs> they probably get high because they feel trapped somehow with their spouse. That must feel horrible. <laughs> Would anyone like me to go over today's specials? There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy syncing our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Hey, come on, we need to get all this pasta and the meatballs out to the customers. These guys look dangerous, Tactic. Antonio, get the pasta out there and you ruin it. Maybe we can do something to even the odds. Huh? Hey, someone back here in the my kitchen? <laughs> How dare you treat the my kitchen like a rinky dink tutorial? All right, stand back. The real superheroes are here now. <laughs> Pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stock pot, little shit. <laughs> Watch and learn, newbie. The coon's on deck. The rest of you, try not to die. Get coon. And sit. And that really hurt. My friends are watching. You're about to become just another stain on my apron. Bottoms up. <sighs> this kitchen is about to heat up. <laughs> I'm gonna debone you, kid. Watch this, new kid. I'm gonna do something fucking sweet. Oh yeah, this one bleeds real nice. I'm gonna violate your health code. That makes no sense! Fuck, I'm dripping all over the place. I'm gonna grill you under a brick. Hold still! There. That's tenderizing. Sorry to break up the pizza party. <laughs> and let that be your lesson to never underestimate the power of diabetes. Wind the wheel to save the life. <sighs> you dirty chicken, no fighter like a real man. I'm gonna force feed you corn and harvest your fatty liver. Oh. You want a cream fresh bukake with that? Hell fucking no. <sighs> You're gonna clean so many pots and pans for that. I'm gonna dip my balls in your sauce. No, no, not, not the massage. Kids coming through. Fucked by the long dong of justice. Diabetes time. Yeah. Uh, do that again and I flatten you like a, like a de 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 piadina. I'm a sending you home to mama in the doggy bag. Oh, you fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll get around to it. Yeah. Uh. Now go tell everyone you cut yourself manscaping. It's my pro me! <laughs> you bastard, my body is sacred like it's a saint to Joseph's altar. I still make you a squeal like it's a sow. <laughs> Good. Uh, knock it off. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. We're gonna go do some real superhero shit. Great Crusaders were no match for the Coon and friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Ugh. Wait, that's it? Your farts, sidekick. Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage. Of course. The Coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers. We've got to get through there and get the classy sidekick. For the good of South Park. For Coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. One diabetes rage coming up. We did it. The path is clear. 
It's hard for me to lose control of myself. But if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. Holy guacamole! What is this? Oh, man. We gotta tell the guys. Cool. Now, yes, yes, got the diabetes. We found missing cats. A whole room of them. Dude, is Scrambles one of them? Uh, negative. None of them are fat and old. Then what about the girl? We're still tracking her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. We still close. I can smell it. Come on, sidekick. <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? Let's dig it up, classy. These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. Yeah, if they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys. I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. March. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Time and skip people's turns and shit. Time to spread some rabies. This might sting. I feel no pain. Damn, they got you all weak and shit. You better not lose, nigga. Why you keep letting them hit you like that? Duck or something? Wait, wait, wait. I'm a, I'm a diabetic too, so don't hit me. Captain Diabetes does not make special arrangements for diabetic guns. Shit, that look like it hurt. <laughs> oh man, looks like I bet on the wrong horse. Shit, shit, hang on, Sharon's texting me. I can't type, why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife, just fuck off, just fighting, poop emoji. Ah! Oh shit, I'm still burning? My keys! Hey! Oh. He's totally out of his mind! Wait, wait, how long have I been on fire? Jesus! I think we underestimated the power of red wine. Ah. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There! Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the streets. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole start working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats 
go. I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet, or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. How'd you do that? That was dumb. All right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, out. Hey, it's that kid from Channel 4 News. You can tag me in that if you want. You're turning into kind of a big deal, new kid. What do you say, selfie? <laughs> oh, it's you again. Sup, hero? Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead, have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a a antsy. I right, look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. 
But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room, the bed. All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibulator. All right, new kid, just stand still and I'll talk you through this. Check out the new hero DNA slot I opened up for you. Stuff you insert here will make a big impact on your combat pa 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 your combat pa effectiveness. That should do it, new kid. Hope you have a grasp of it. Now get out there and kick some booty. New kid, this is the human kite. You know that little problem you helped me take care of? Well, it's back. Can you come to my house ASAP, please? Here, kitty, Thanks kitty. for coming. It's over here. I'm big! Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle, I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. This barrier represents the Red Sea, which you will be unable to part without Moses on your side. Get me. Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. Make way for King. Oh, now you've done it. <laughs> okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew faith to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmel Shigina. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly. Oh, Jesus, it came off. Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle. Then give up! Don't worry, super buddy cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> and Sheila! These kids are picking on me! What, what, what? Who's picking on you? I'll call your mothers right now. Yeah, get him, Aunt Sheila. I'm up now. Do you want me to go again? I can, I can wait. No. Ah. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Dude, that's my mom. Okay, everyone, just stop. We're taking this too far. You're gonna come in my backyard and disrespect my family? I will fucking destroy you. Mom, calm down. I hope you pay attention because I'm gonna teach you kids a lesson. You know how to take a hit, diabetes. Thanks for noticing, Super Craig. Judaism? And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look, my kite's up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back team. Oh, I hate back team because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. Well, crap. How are we gonna get that kite down? Wow, your ass is full of surprises. Great, we got it. Now my mom can stop being pissed at me. Ah! 
I'm going to call that Farkor. When you need to reach high, out of the way spots, give me a call and we'll Farkor up there. Man, I hope I never need to do that in public though. Kind of embarrassing. Now this may sting a little, Bubby. Oh, is it supposed to burn, Aunt Sheila, because it's stinging and it's burning? That's how you know it's working. Oh, ow, ouch. Look, Bubby, they got your kite out of the tree. Yay, I can fly again. Time to be the biggest superhero, Cousin Kyle, and forgive our new neighbor. Why don't you two take a nice photograph together? Okay, I forgive you, new kid. Say, human kite from an alternate universe. <laughs> All right, listen, I have this ex-friend who I hate now and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? <laughs> I love a local handcrafted selfie. What's this? Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back. We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine. I paid for him, and I have the receipt. You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that. Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? Uh, fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. You made a real mistake when you attacked us. We think maybe we'd eventually forgive you for stealing our clientele, but nope. Sorry, cuties. Oh my god, we're going to have so much fun. Everything all right over there, hun? Everybody good here? Great. This is for all the ladies in the world who have to wear new tights. I need to check my makeup. I'm gonna whoop you like my mama did my daddy, sweetie. Hashtag killing it! you in half and stick you up my butt. Someone's about to get stuffed someplace dark and smelly. You messed with the wrong raisin, sugar. Get him, girl! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram. I'm totally getting trolled right now. kid. Don't worry. I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. What do you think? You think girls are just as good a gamers as you boys? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. Watch your back, Hannah. 
handsome. And now you got a problem with me. I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me, did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand. But I am tired. Oh, oh, ah. You, you're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression, about to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression, hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid, not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression, hit him. Uh, uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. The farting vigilante stinks. Hey, you're famous, kid. I don't take kindly to folks who take selfies, but let's take one anyway. Remember when Superman movies weren't so depressing? Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember. Remember when Batman's bat suit had nipples? Of course I remember, but I wish I didn't, Mimi. crap you found it listen here vigilante if you're ever in trouble you give me a net a holler and we'll shoot the shit out of whatever's bothering you hot damn i just gotta get one of them selfie things with the farting patriot you are a minor approaching an area with controlled substances step away from the door or you will be terminated Too bad, new kid. Miners aren't allowed in a place like that. Of course, you aren't just any miner. You've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Hello, we're picking up some medicine for a friend. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. Hey, you want to get hot? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Towley. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. 
clean and sober almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it. And you work here in a pot store. Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know that ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh? I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right. It turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent, but I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in a town that we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, classy. Yeah, classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea. No, 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 no. It's uh, classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that classy. Sure, I got her order. There she is. See, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax cushion with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool, relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts, I can't sleep, I got no appetite. This shitty town is so fucked up, we gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick liquors coming into my store, telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you, you relax. Tender, get in here. It's time to give these kids a fucking consultation. Ah! Oh, fuck, I need some bane management. Oh, shit, fuck. Careful around the product. Ah! Fucking serves you right, Todd, you piece of shit. You kids take your bad attitude somewhere else. Get lit. Hey. You kids aren't the boss of me. Get in. Hey, take it out on the towel. A lot of stuff isn't in the employee manual. Ow! You fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right guys? Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Light it up, new kid. on your own guts. I'd hate for you to fall and hurt yourself. Oh, sure. I get five minutes for lunch. Oh, shit. Quit burning the product. Gotta admit it's some quality bud, though. <laughs> we gotta burn another... Your turn is now property of Sunin friends. Ah! You guys are fun to hang out with. Yeah. You like that, you stupid tails? Villainy will never defeat Coon and friends. Oh man, <laughs> I was hoping you'd burn that one too, make it a real party atmosphere in here. Now for my best attack, my best attack. Hey guys, oh, hey, how you been, Eric? Oh, you're a cool guy, man. Oh, I'm psyched to see you, miss. This is for Classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. So come by anytime for a hookup.
when you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Oh, he finally decided to be reasonable, huh? Fine. Here's a stupid laptop. Oh, hello, uh, new kid, right? Listen, I see you're really trying hard to get my son and his boyfriend back together, and, well, I so appreciate it. Having a gay son is really good for the coffee business. I think all they need is a little relationship counseling. Could you give this to Craig? Maybe together we can both help them out, huh? Where is it? Counseling? Tweak wants me to go to counseling with him? No way. Tell him there's no way I'll go to counseling unless you go too. I need my support team. Relationship counseling? Craig? Are you shitting me? Well, fine, I'll do it. As long as you're there, you seem to be able to get him to think rationally. See, here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better have my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fast Pass. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken dead. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast Pass, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fast Pass, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fast Pass, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fast, fast, pass, fast, fast, pass out. Hey, kid, you're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. Oh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Uh, okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't, uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more, uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Great. So, as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? <laughs> well, I'm really glad we had this talk. Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Hey, it's that boy! Yeah, they're cisgender! And they're heterosexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Ha, <laughs> you got screwed. Who's ready to get maimed? Who's coming through? <laughs> they should have moved if they didn't want to get all scratched up. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriotic duty to fuck you up. I'm big again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I might need a do-over. Okay, bye for now. Oh, you're so fucking dead. Oh, I'm up? Okay. Eye lasers. I like it. America, 
love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. It's coming right for us. Major? So then, so then the WAP says to the Polak, if I wanted tits, I'd have beat up the nip in the black guy's hat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what do we have here? You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town, shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, and my boys will be thereafter. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Hello there, welcome to the soft room. I'm a friendly detective. What's your name? So exactly why are you wandering around the police station? Do you have information about who's behind the big crime wave in South Park? I understand how this attention must be scary for you. You know what else is scary? Choking on Jared's $5 footlong. <laughs> I wrote that myself. I actually do stand-up on the weekends. Here's my headshot. You know, with this crime wave, I'm looking for work. You take my headshot around town, and I'll let you see what's in my bottom drawer here in my desk. Want to see what's in my bottom drawer? Huh? Where's that smile? Go ahead, get my headshot out there, and I'll give you a treat. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house! Stand your ground! Ow! What's wrong with you? Oh. Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero! That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. Who are you supposed to be? A gypsy magician? Go on through. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. Remember the Rockford Files? Ooh, I mean me. Remember Lawrence Welk? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember. Moon River is my favorite. Maybe it's our lucky day, superhero. Looks like the guard is on a piss break or something. Proceed past the gate and around the back to find an entry point. Not this time, sir. Not this time. Please move the fuck along or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir.
I will not be humiliated again. This time I got backup. <laughs> Now go tell everyone you cut yourself manscaping. Wow, I'm almost impressed. I wish I was a real cop, sir. Hey! And that really hurt. My friends are watching. We got these guys. This might sting. Sir, I'll beat you like my boss is looking. Justice is sprayed. Officer of the lawn! Here it comes! Oh, hey! This is fun! Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called diabetes! Well done, Buckle! Make way for diabetes! Uh. Punch it for great justice! <laughs> oh, you're really good at this game! Okay, quick superhero, answer the phone and use your hacking device to disarm the system. Hello, this is Jeff with Wolf Home Security. Is everything all right? Hello, yes, sorry, I live here and I can't remember my code to turn off the dang alarm. Oh, that's okay, sir. Do you have your security password you can tell me? Is everything all right? Can you hear me? Can you hold on just a minute? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, no problem. I've got it right here. Hang on a second. Dang it, let me look in. Oh, wrong drawer. Can you hold on just a minute? I'm sorry. No problem, sir. Is everything all right? Can you hold on just a minute? Did you maybe write the password down anywhere, sir? Like a notepad or something? Yes, yes, must be something. Let's see. Let me check in this drawer. Ah, looks like I need to find my glasses here. Hold on. Can you hear me? Maybe it's my middle name? Could you, could you try my middle name? Okay, sir, I tell you what, let's just look up your account profile and get a new password for you. If you can just hang on a line here. Don't be fooled by his attempts at upper middle class sensibility. Oldest trick in the book. Careful with this one, hero. He's got a temper on him. Choose your moment now. Hey, who the hell are you? You can't just break in here. Engage! Go, go, go! I have a security system, you know. Where the hell are the cops? Brilliant work, hero. You're really getting into the program. You understand exactly what we're doing, and you're doing it right along with us. Meet me back at the station. I've got something for you. Oh my god, it's the worst customer ever! Wait, no. Ah, new kid, you came! New kid, the vile creatures inside here have stolen my dad's credit card. You must help me rescue it. You know I am no match for their evil powers of seduction. I can't go in there alone. Will you help? Then come on, you go first. That's the kid! That's the kid who beat up Porsche uh -huh, Mercedes! That's right! This kid is here to take back my father's credit card, you buxom thieves! 
You gave us your dad's credit card when you wanted time in the wrestling pit with us. Not true. I just wanted to leave. Then why did you say, hang on, I'll be right back with my dad's credit card. He won't even know it's gone. No more head games. Give me the card or there's gonna be trouble. That problem here, girls? Oh, there's about to be. Raisins, girls, unite! You know, all the other customers are such losers, but you seem totally cool. W wow, really? Absolutely, sweetie. Have you guys met my main squeeze? Don't you dare lay a hand on her. That didn't take long. Huh, leave the love of my life alone, guys. You deserved it, you evil tetris! Yeah, <laughs> burning hair. I'm not bloodthirsty anymore. I have had it with this yet. <laughs> Ow! Knock them into the bleachers! I'll handle these little pervs. Keep your hands to yourself! I forecast gentle breezes with a high chance of lasers and burning! Burn! Burn! Dude, you are trying way too hard. Duck on this. Ugh. Oh, that was a blow to the ego. I'm gonna see these burning raisin girls become a thing. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh my god, raisin girls, we totally got served. Well, I guess it's just you and me now, bitches. Oh wait, I brought a friend. I'm not hitting on you. Lasers online. Yeah. Excuse you! Oh. I'll drink to that! Oh, I need to brush my teeth, like, right now! I literally eat kids like you for breakfast. Ah. Sorry it didn't work out between us. <laughs> now I'm gonna be smelling puke all day. Now, who ordered the old-fashioned beating? Cold as hell? Uh -oh. Ouch! You guys, drag me into this, and I'm always the one having to save your butt. Oh, man, I'm back. Did you miss me? Mega this butt. That's no way to treat a lady. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. I gotta get this back to his dresser. New kid, you're the best. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Tidy Liberace? Go on through. Good work on clearing that kingpin, little Crime Stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. You got gumption, Crime Stopper. Huddle up, it's selfie time. <laughs> Aha, now I can monitor you on the internet. Rookie mistake, superhero. That vigilante's taking all the fun. My lord, I have to say I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Coon out. No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys, can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, Fast Pass. Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Cyborg. 
Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror, and in the mirror you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the lost alien that was living in your hallway. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the bridge jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. Yeah, I'm so enraged right now. Well, somebody needs to hit this little shit. The intruder took a swing at you, but your block absorbed the damage. I'm... I'm so pissed! Thugs tried to keep their distance, but they weren't prepared for your next power. even work. The remaining foe laid into you. It was time to bring out the big guns. Oh man, yeah, that's big guns. He's more machine than man. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Timmy! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, Freedom Pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II, it's going down! You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. Look at Butthole Go! Yeah! 
fighting Dr. Timothy is a mistake beyond your comprehension. Microaggression. Hit him. Uh. Formidable as always, Mysterion. Timmy! <laughs> impressive, Tupperware. Most impressive. <laughs> Nail, meet Hammer. Delta Gamma, Lemur Fart. I'm in a timeout. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Did you bear in your pants? I'm real strong. I'm going to show you. You made a funny face. Get ugly. Leave our friend alone, fiend. Attack maneuver initialized. Oof, you fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll get around to it. Yeah. Uh. Looking sharp, coon. Damn right, diabetes. Maybe we can be pals after you check out of the ER. I like our odds. That was a thorough fisting. Well done, Buffalo. Tupperware, keeping it fresh. Walk it off, butt lord. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses! You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it! New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right! You guys are DC Comics, we're Marvel! Fucking asshole, you guys have Zack Snyder to direct your fucking movies. Hey, that was some pretty good PC police work, kid. Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. You see? That wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Attention all coon friends! We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately! Coon out! There you are, Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, Butt Lord. All right, everyone. Butt Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U store it entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is tool shed. Tool shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and tool shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, butt lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to tool shed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store in tonight. To bed, everybody. Coon friends are on the cape. Go on home, butt lord. If all goes according to plan, Toolshed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Toolshed is a two-faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him, our child did! But you confirmed it when the principal called you! How long before they find out everything? Our little boy is hurting, don't you get it? He's asking questions about his race and sexual orientation because he's confused! Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Uh, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> Don't even think of getting high right now. Oh, are you not gonna drink? God, what is wrong with you? 
with you. Whatever's in these things are making you crazy! Crazy? Like telling the world who our child is that we took so long to hide? Hey kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Americans. Night night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cooning friends. Hashtag fuck freedom pass. So, we meet again, new kid. I have to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. You'll probably want to know about my superhero backstory. You see, when I was just a child, my father was in the garage working on a project. There was a huge storm, and lightning blew my father off his workbench. I ran to help him, but at that moment, another blast somehow fused his power tools onto my body. I became a superhero while my father was left mentally impaired. There you go, you fucking bitch! Why don't you, why don't you just, just take a shit in your face? Take this, you dumb whore! Randy, get in here right now and stop keying my car! Okay. But this is different. My father's acting even stupider than ever before. Perhaps Toolshed wants to help his father because he feels he could have saved him all those years ago. <laughs> what is your backstory? Did something happen with your parents too? That's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It must be very painful. This is the home of Mysterion. He has a shortcut to the north of town. Buy the fucking meth I get. You bought the meth with our fucking welfare money. Give me back the fucking pipe, Carol. Fuck you, I'm smoking it. You're not smoking my fucking ice. Now I can show you Toolshed's most mighty tool, the Sand Blaster. With the force it generates, it can clear nearly any obstacle. Turn it on and I'll show you my power. This is Mysterion's secret tunnel. They're here! Coon friends are Simbu! Well, well, the butt-fucking traitor actually showed up. Hey, whoa, whoa, nah-uh. I said I'd help the new kid, not you, losers. Yeah, well, the new kid is a coon friend, and coon friends work together, douche. Come on, we need to get inside this fence. Yeah, Toolshed, that's what the new kid wants. Fine. As long as there's a power generator nearby, I can use my dad's sand blaster to clear almost any obstacle. Wow, that is fantastic. That's got it. Coon and friends, let's go. Let's get one thing straight, Shed. I don't trust you. You make one move out of line and I'll shred you. I'm only here for the new kid, fat ass. After tonight, we're sworn enemies again. All right, Classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities. Everyone fan out. Here, kitty, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 meow, meow. The fuck? <laughs> Hello, coon friends. Coon and friends. Come into my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you can possibly fathom. I've been given $20,000 to keep nosy people away from this place. What? $20,000 just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? Go to Paris and get a Pete Allen has fit and fuck French chicks? Super Craig. Wrong! I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? No minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, oh, dang it. God damn it. All right.
Alright, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. And how many minions $20,000 can buy? Butters, will you just go home? We're trying to find a missing cat. I don't think so, coon friends. Butters, actually, if somebody gave you a bunch of money, by law, that money belongs to our franchise. All of us. Oh, no, you see, more cash means more minions. Let's see how you handle this. <laughs> the confusion, or I will confuse you more. Coon strikes chaos at its heart. Hey! Oh, well, that's my minion you just beat up. Uh, well, this is what happens when you hire second-rate minions. Yeah, let's fuck these guys up. Why would you side with such weaklings, Toolshed? Yeah? Why, Stan? Screw you, chaos. Uh, Come on, minions. You can do better than that. Get mad, minions. Rally against the Coon Friends, minions! Coon and Friends! Spam that, minions! <laughs> what a fucker! Hey, I'm paying you guys good money and I want to see results! Aw, <laughs> oh, man, you guys are losing! Chaos or death! Oh, bullshit, I call bullshit. Come on, get it. Yeah, Team Chaos Zero, Coon and Friends like, like 50. That's almost all of them. <laughs> Wrong again, Coon. Oh, fuck, what now? With all my new funding, I found an even greater source of minions, all who are willing to work for extremely reasonable salaries. Vomitals, minions, destroy the Coon Friends. Coon and Friends. All right, boys, we can't just sit here and let them keep messing up our team name. It's Coon Tan. It's coming right for us. Oh! Hiya! Ow! Hiya! Oh, hi! Thanks, Uncle Jimbo. I hit the child! See? Ah, their chaos powers are preventing me from understanding their speech. Hit the kids now? God only knows. You guys take the alley over there. Super Craig and I are hitting the rooftops. Why would Chaos want to wrap an entire truck in aluminum foil? That's not the problem! Is aluminum foil really what you guys are concerned with? Who the fuck is that? You were right about the Italian restaurant, new kid. The owner is a part of a new crime syndicate. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Well, she's not in the union. Excuse me, are you on Coonstagram? There's someone new in town who's bringing all the crime families together. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Y you mean like a kingpin? You guys do not say anything. We're not playing with her. Check out storage facility 56D, new kid. And here, take this. Call me if you need me. I think you're gonna need all the help you can get. So I guess now any fucking asshole thinks they can be a superhero. Come on, let's just find scrambles and be done. You guys see scrambles here? Oh shit, lava! <laughs> Can you stop fucking around, Chaos? Not Professor Chaos, his partner in crime. General Disarray! Careful, he's a ginge. Do you know what Professor Chaos has planned for this city? Look, kid, you and Butters are taking this way too far. Yeah, it's time to teach you a lesson. That won't be as easy as you think. Time to hang out! 
No choice, Code Branch. The floor is lava, or at least it will be soon. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, you just let him hit you. Ah, more chaos where that came from. Hey, I'm paying you guys good money, and I want to see results. Hi. Come on, minions. You can do better than that. Don't worry about the minions. Just take out the general. Look out! I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Run home to mommy, fool! Microaggression! Hit him! Here, this will help. Hey, off niños! Agachense! You can take it, butt lord! It's pipeline time! Enjoy! Phew, thanks! This might sting. figure do that. Like some kind of spring-loaded thing, maybe. Screwdriver to death! Ah! I can't believe your dad was dumb enough to lend you his tools, too, Zed. Get them, Chaos Minions! Hit the kid now? Bye. Oof! You fuck with the coon! You answer to his friends, right, guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll get around to it. You're up to bat, new kid. Impressed. Ah, oh, man, you guys are losing. I think that's the last of them. Don't count on it. We should make a wait, wait, Super Craig. Oh, my God, Super Craig. Super Craig, just hold tight. Shit, there's no air compressor here. No way I can remove that lava. Hang on, Super Craig. We're gonna find something to plug Tool Shed Sand Blaster into. You and I both know I'm already dead. No, Super Craig. We're gonna find a way to save you. Do something, Tool Shed. There's nothing here. My Sand Blaster needs compressed air to work. Get the one from the entrance. The gate slammed and locked shut, remember? It's okay, guys. We all knew when we signed on to be Coon friends that it might end like this. Stay calm, Super Craig. We're gonna get you home. Sorry, Coon, but it looks like this was a one-way trip. No, Super Craig, no! Dude, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Do you know what kind of fart power someone would need to make that work? Jesus Christ, that's an asshole? What? What happened? The new kid shoved the tube up his ass and cleared away all the lava. Oh. You guys go and get chaos. I've got to try and stabilize Super Craig. Ow! Fuck! It's Q. What the fuck was that, you asshole? It's an intracardiac injection, Super Craig. I had to stabilize you. Are you fucking serious right now? You could have fucking killed me. Where the fuck did you get that, Cartman? Online. Super Craig, just stay still. You suffered a lot. You guys go ahead. I'm gonna just try and stabilize him. Hey, that was really cool back there. Now we can clear lava whenever we want. We make a great team, Butt Lord. You're with me, Butt Lord. See everything from up here. <laughs> I can hear cats. Hey, what the fuck? Who is that? Oh my god, that's the vigilante. That's right, the king. And some little fat kid, too. This cat. Where is it? That's some real high-grade shit there. Cat like that would go to the boss man himself. You idiot! You don't talk about him! Now we gotta kill these shits! I estimate this job will take, oh, five to ten minutes. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. It's coming right for us.
some help. Okay? The big man has all the crime families working together. The Italians, the Russians, the sixth graders, they all work for him. We just put the cat urine in the drugs and alcohol. Who is the big man? He don't even do it for the money, man. It's like, it's like he wants more crime in the streets. Wow, that sounds spooky. You don't even know spooky, man. We got to do this if they tell us. Don't you get it? We're already dead for telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Town lava. Well, well, you actually made it to the end, Coon friends. Coon and friends, butters, goddammit! And now you know that you are too late. All of South Park is about to be covered in lava. Just think about it. Everywhere will be off limits. Everyone will have to just stay where they are, forever. The park will be lava. The Dairy Queen will be lava. It'll be absolute chaos. <laughs> Come out and fight like a man, chaos. Oh, I am much more than a man now, Mosquito. I have finally bought enough tinfoil to piece together my greatest weapon yet. Greetings! Trabajo. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> now prepare to meet your end, coon friends. Coon and friends. That does it. This asshole dies now. <laughs> meet your mecha supreme doom. Dude, you totally outdid yourself. Thanks. <laughs> hey, fellas, don't get too rough, okay? Still have to clean. Kid, I like the way you punch. Oh, oh man, I thought I'd be insulated in here. Enjoy. Thanks for that. Oh, I am so ready. Well, here we go. Hey, what's going on over there, you guys? Please, let's pull that burning mega lava. Uh, pretty sweet, huh? CG, guys! Ah, my legs! Tiene que enviar mi cheque! No, no, come back, dang it! Vamos! Well, okay, fellas, that was a minor setback, but chaos cannot be stopped so easily. Initiate phase two! Chaos! <laughs> oh, supreme chaos, extra spicy! Duty foil. Ah, you okay down there, minion? Wow. Just a jolt. Nothing messy green like a chaos minion can't handle. Ah. Boop, 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 boop. No, this cannot be the end. Back up. Ah. Obviously, a situation where Philip's head shines. You're safe with me. Sweet, thanks. Laser vision if you need backup, Coon. Yes, we're all very aware of your fucking laser vision. Job done. All right, Chaos, talk. Who gave you the money to do all this? Butter, wake up. I 
think he's dead, dude. He's not dead. Uh, fellas, I think we better get him back to base. All right, come on. Let's take him to the holding cell. The holding cell? Oh, jeez, it's, it's kind of late, fellas. I should get home or I'm going to be grounded. You should have thought of that before you tried to lava the town, Chaos. Hey, dude. It was great working with you again, man. It was like old times. Yeah, well, I told you. This was a one-shot deal. I only helped out because I owed the new kid a favor. Come on, Shed. Come back to the team. Can't do that, Kite. Freedom Pals is gonna make way more money with their franchise. You're wrong. We're gonna make like a billion dollars. We're gonna make like a zillion dollars. But guys, think about it. Why would someone pay Butters to cause more chaos? Who could it be? Maybe it's that Tommy Nelson kid. He's always been kind of a dick. Oh, have a seat, Thunderpants. What if the person paying Butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas. Nobody does. He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town. He's everywhere. He's nameless, faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh my god. He, he is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance, and his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen you mention. Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily, and it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Who? Oh. Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carmen's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down South Park? And where would he get all his money? Shut up! It's not Mitch stupid fucking Connor! How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in northern Alaska. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, humankind. Everyone get back to your homes, it's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After skiing. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. The South Park vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown New Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. It was like one minute he farted on my dick and the next thing my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace, if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. Kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem Call Girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call Girl wants you to meet her there. Right now. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you in town, new kid! Yeah. 
see? It spun around and different clothes came on. That's dumb. You stupid fucking cow! Have another glass of Chardonnay, why don't you? I have to drink to deal with you! That marijuana is changing you somehow! At least marijuana is natural, not like... grapes! You're fucking hot! Maybe so, but I'm not telling everyone our child's secrets! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Go be paranoid some more in your room, have Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Oh, hey, kiddo. Daddy's gonna go upstairs to his room. Mommy's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Once a turd, always a turd. Hmm, that follower count is pretty impressive for a turd. Thanks, turd. Guess I won't pummel you for now. Toolshed, always right for the job. <laughs> nice one. I think it's wrong they make cisgendered people share a bathroom. It must be so hard for you. Anyway, I've got a problem, new kid. I'm like you, an outsider. I've been watching as adults in our town act stranger and stranger, but nobody will listen to me. I started cross-referencing everyone's Instagrams to see what kind of connection I could find. And that's when it happened. Somebody canceled my cellular data plan. My phone is dead. Whoever did this has to pay. I'm going to the mobile company to find out what happened. I can't go alone. I'm asking for your help, new kid. I think you're the only one who understands. If I can't use my mobile devices, I can't save this town. Let's go find out what's wrong with this place. Welcome to D-Mobile, can I help you? Grab people, grab people. Look like grab wicked mobile stores like people. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems connecting to the internet. Your name and D-Mobile number, please! Your name and D-Mobile number, please! Wait a minute, you weren't the people who worked here last week. That's right, we are grab Shh! We are glad people to work in this fine place. Can I interest you in a new contract with up to five gigabytes of data per month? No, I just want my phone to work right. Excellent, Hillman! How dare you shout our data plan? I knew it. The phone company's been taken over by crab people. She's on to us. Call girl, save us! Come on, new kid. Let's wipe the floor with him. Glad to be working with you, new kid. Butthole's ripping them a new one. Curse you and your hurtful man tricks! Bad luck for the bad guys. Fix my internet! Pew, 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 phone laser! Pew, pew, I super blocked you. All still, customer, I have savings for you. Watch out for those claws, they pack a punch. Fight my trap, kill all people. Now you'll care more about encrypting. Behold the might of our manager! Your name and D-Mobile number, please! I wish I was live streaming that. Nice one. But we have to get to the king or we're screwed! The Yelp review I'm going to write about this will end your careers. It's coming right for us. Show them. 
those jerks who they're messing with. Thank you, call girl. I don't know what those things were, but they smelled like crab and kissed like people. How can we repay you? Just get my phone working again, all right? Yes, yes, of course, call girl. Thanks for saving the mobile store once again. Thanks, new kid, but I have a feeling this isn't over. If you smell crab, call me. Hello there, new kid. We haven't been formally introduced. I'm Mr. Crime Syndicate Kingpin Guy, and you. You're the one who keeps farting on all my best people. Are we really so different, you and I? We both want what's best for this city. I know you've probably got places to be, but why don't you come talk to me instead? I'm at the old Soto Sopa ruins. Come on. What do the Coon friends really have to offer you? Looking for answers? Mr. Connor sends his regards. He wanted to come himself, but he's a very busy man. He mentioned some horrible tragedy happened to your mother. Funny how a few moments in our lives can completely change who we are, huh? And now you're gonna be taken out by assassins known as the City Ninja Service. <laughs> you know what to do with him when you're done. Hey, wait, you forgot to pay me! After it's done. No, no, no. You hire services of a shitty ninja service. You pay in advance. That's a, that's on the website. You don't sound Japanese. Are you sure you're really ninjas? Yeah, yeah, I'm ninja. Look at my fucking eyes. Come on, give me a check. Made out to a shitty ninja service. Just get it over with. Okay, hurry up. Uh, we're from uh, Shitty Ninja. I'm afraid we got paid to assassinate you today, so uh, we have to do that, of course, on Russ. You want to pay us not to? $5,000. Oh, nice try. You tricky in business. But you don't have enough money for bribes, so we still have to murder you. Sorry. New kid, why are there ninjas after you? Yeah. Ah, just wait till I cut you with ninja sword. Very sharp, very authentic. Sugumi boy in the... As the predator finds its prey. Come on, you throw like little girl. Ninja instincts awaken. God damn, what the hell I pay you for, ninja? You lucky. It's very hard to hit authentic ninja. Shitty ninja ninjas, don't fuck around. Well done, Buffalo. Another foe falls before the night of Coon and Friends. Hard to find a good ninja these days. Remember the Dagaba system? Sure, I remember. I loved that. Remember Steady Alpha 5? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, Mimi. Okay, here's Party Pants now. Come join us. Coon friends, these are dark times. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fuck. Maybe we should just face it, guys. Maybe Freedom Pals have a better super franchise than we do. Hey, that's no way to talk, Mosquito. The only reason that Freedom Pals are ahead of us right now is because they're butt-fucking cheaters who sold out. Yeah, but Freedom Pals have Dr. Timothy and he can read people's minds and bend reality. 
Yeah, because he just said that. When we made up our superpowers, he was like, well, I have every power to do fucking everything. You think that's fair? It's time for us to be as dirty as them. We have to know what the Freedom Pals know. Well, how, how are we ever going to get the help of the Freedom Pals? We send a spy. Someone in our group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pals. Somebody who they don't know very well. The new kid joins Freedom Pals, then asks for assistance investigating the community city. Hope the new kid is good at bullshitting. You'll never get past the security grids. They change it every day. I can get the new kid inside. I've got hacking abilities, remember? Because I'm a gadgeteer class with the tinkering ability. No dice, Chaos. You're just saying that to get out of jail. You better let him go. The new kid will need him. All right, fine. <laughs> get the new kid inside Freedom Pals base. OK. And if he tries anything funny, kill him. No. That's not it. What's this? No. No. Oh, here we go. My minion. Hey, little guy, are you ready to go hack some control panels? All right. Let's get the Freedom Pals base. Right ah! Where have you been, mister? Oh, hey, Dad. I, but but, but I, just, I just been hanging out with my new, new friend. And I, you didn't come home last night, Butters. Your mom and I were worried sick. We could barely enjoy the movie we were watching. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just my new friend. And, and just, just really mean to Sorry's not going to cut it, mister. And you, what's your name? You gotta say something. You don't understand. I asked you a question. Who are you? Please, please don't do this. That does it. Butters, you are grounded. And so is your smart ass little friend. <sighs> hey, what'd you make that for, new kid? Well, what are you doing, new kid? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh. Oh, uh, geez, geez, new kid, I, I don't know. Well, all right, but be careful with him. <laughs> Whoopee! Boy, howdy, new kid. Well, why your butt can do all kinds of cool stuff. That's impossible. I grounded you. How could you be here right now? It, it wasn't me, Dad. It was a new kid. You have some kind of ability to unground people? Whoever you touch becomes ungrounded, is that it? Your evil magic is not welcome here, Darkling. Ah! You're grounded! What do you think you're doing, kid? Well, that just makes me more angry at Butters. Chaos is free! Hell yeah, I'm ungrounded! Get Butters, this is your fault! Sorry, Dad. Sorry. Pretty sweet chaos, boat, huh, Dad? How many times have I told you not to play around with raw energy beams? <laughs> Your parents will hear about this. <laughs> that ought to knock some manners into you. <laughs> Victory! Damn it, Butters, you're grounded for life! I, I am, but I don't feel grounded. Hey, guys, I'm not grounded. I'm ungroundable! No! We must go now and infiltrate the Freedom Pals base. Meet me outside the Freedom Pals school for the gifted and talented. You made it! Here it is. Freedom Pals school for the gifted and talented. This way, do-gooder. Ah, so that's where their secret door is. They think they can stop Professor Chaos with a terminal thingy? I can hack anything! I got you, little guy. <laughs> Gee whiz, would 
and look at this. Wow, now this is a superhero base. Holy smokes, they got a training room and computers and lights. And... Well, this beats the crap out of Coon's base, huh, new kid? Gee, I can play here every day. What are you doing here? Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Mysterion. Well, we were just hoping to speak with Dr. Timothy. Why? Uh, the new kid wants to switch franchises and I told him I'd help. Hey, new kid, thought you might end up here. They're here to spy on what Timothy is working on. I see we rip him to shreds. Calm down, everyone. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, God, it's him. This is a fairly shocking change of heart for you, Professor. You really wish to help the new kids switch franchises? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we just thought that, you, you know, your franchise seems a lot more open and progressive. And, uh, but, you know, we just thought he should switch because Coon and Friends kind of isn't going anywhere. Oh, God, see, the new kid came to me and said, uh, how do I quit Coon and Friends? And since I hate Coon and Friends, I decided to help him out. You get anything? The aluminum foil on his helmet seems to be blocking my abilities. Don't trust them, Doc. They can't see what you've been working on back there. What if the new kid really wants to switch? We can see if the new kid's intentions are pure. We're sending Tupperware on a very important mission today. You can help him with that mission. I don't need backup, especially not a noob. Easy, Tup. Remember the Freedom Pal's motto. Yeah, retribution, but with inclusion. I'll send you the details on the mission. When you get there, we can begin. In the meantime, I must get back to my work. Hey, new kid, we've got that counseling appointment with Mr. Mackey. Meet us at the school as soon as you can. Huh, I'm so nervous. Hey, new kid, come on in and have a seat. Okay, apparently we're having a little quarrel. Okay. Craig and Tweak have agreed to some counseling as long as you're present, new kid. Okay, so, uh, now, Craig, what do you, what do you want to say to Tweak? I think he has some stuff he should say to me. Okay, okay, Tweak, you want to start, maybe? I have nothing to say if that's his attitude. Okay, okay, well, maybe, uh, new kid, maybe you should share some of your thoughts. Okay, well, this isn't really going that well. Um, okay, boys, I want to do an exercise with you. Uh, I have some kids here to help us out. When we're trying to have some therapy, the first thing we need to do is is take out our resentments, okay? So, uh, let, let's have our resentments come out. Come on out over, come over, resentments. Okay, and then in any relationship, we also have expectations, okay? Because expectations lead to resentment, which, of course, brings about accusations. Come on out, accusations, okay? And then that all, of course, leads to victimization and withdrawal. Now, you've got to learn to overcome all of these things, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go fuck them up! There they are, right there, Tweet Craig. Go, go beat the shit out of them! You too, new kid! Let's dance. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let, let's punch. Go nuts, new kid. <laughs> Get that little bastard! Get some revenge on that shit, oh yeah! Mega Pump Punch! Oh, how does that make you feel, resentment, huh? Here comes withdrawal! No one's gonna feel good after this! That sucks for you, new kid! Bring down the lightning! We get it, you have weather control powers. Don't have to make such a production out of it. Is he controlling the weather? Expectations doesn't go down that easy. There's always more expectations. Oh, oh God! Ah. You boys have to work together if you're going to eliminate all of those expectations, okay? Wait, he's right. Huh? We're only going to get rid of these expectations and everything else if we do it together. Craig! Yeah, let's do it, Craig! Don't you feel better? Yeah, I kinda do. Me too. Okay, we'll just come back anytime you need counseling, okay? That's, uh, that's it. Thanks for all your help, new kid. Yeah, fuck you, expectations. 
Thanks, new kid. We have a lot of work to do, but I think we both want to do it now. Come on, Craig. I'll get you your laptop. It's our laptop, Tweak. Here comes the new kid. Over here. All right, kid. This is a very important mission. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, come on. Let's go, Freedom Pals. We're here for the community service. Oh, wonderful, everyone. Some of the local children are here to sing for us. Oh. Oh. Ah. I, I love to play my triangle, my triangle goes. When, when I am sad, I love to hear my triangle go. It cheers me up. And it makes me smile. You suck! We're sorry, folks. This kid's new. I love, I love to, to play, play my triangle, my triangle goes. Ooh. I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my mandolin go. It cheers me up. And makes me smile. Get off the stage! Huh? I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my flugelhorn go. It cheers, it cheers me, me up. Oh, oh, yuck. Yuck. It's disgusting. And it makes me smile. Wait, that's the kid. It's the farting vigilante from the news. <laughs> that's the kid going around taking out all the drugs in town. The vigilante wants to take our poker set. What? <laughs> for the old ticker. Doc, this is Mysterion. We had some trouble, but the mission is complete. Nice work, everyone. New Kid, congratulations. You're officially a member of Freedom Pals. You can join us tonight on our mission to the police station. We've ascertained that the police are being paid off by whoever's running crime in the city. That's right. We believe we'll find the answers to what's going on there. Welcome to the team, friend. We'll see you tonight. Don't tell anyone we're going to the police station. Oh, new kid over here. See? He's right here. Thanks for coming, new kid. All right, so this is the person you wish to have co-signed for you? Oh, that's correct. Uh, see, I hired a bunch of minions to help me destroy the town. But, but my plan didn't actually come to fruition, so I'm unable to pay the minions at this time. All right, well, what we can do is set up an LLC for you, which we can use to fund a money market account co-signed by your friend here, whose house we can put a lien on to an overseas investment, and it's gone! What's gone? Your friend's house. It's gone. Owned by a company in Hong Kong now. Thank you. Have a nice day. But I just needed to pay my minions. I didn't mean to get my friend's house taken away. Yeah, you're not too good at this economic stuff, huh? Perhaps your friend should play. Yeah, you play, new kid. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. All right, kid, try your luck. Round she goes, where she stops, only a random number generator knows. Hit your class advancement goal and rise to the next economic level, but go bankrupt, your level will drop. 
What's the future, anyway? Agile investing bonus. Triple value on the next spot you land on. Oh, God, I can't look. And it's real estate. Now you've got the taxpayer bailout bonus. When you land on bankruptcy, it's the taxpayers that take the hit. No whammies, no whammies. And you've done it. Woo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These children just got a loan for over $80,000 to pay immigrant workers their salaries. You can be a winner, too. Just keep on trying, people. Here's your check, kid. Gee whiz, thanks a lot, new kid. You're really good at this. Well, come on, we gotta get this to my mini. Those are those damn kids that paid immigrant workers. Yeah, they got a loan to pay their minions, so you know what that means? They took our job. They took our day. They took your deal. Wait a minute. I thought we were mad because of their gender choice and sexuality and stuff. No, that's of those other guys. We just want our jobs back. Oh, well, let's get your jobs and make fun of them for their former self-identification. Come on, boys. Let's show them some minions made in America. Speaking of minions... He took our minion job! He took our marriage! Disculpe! America was built by America, not fucking minions! Microaggression! Hit him! America, love it or get your ass kicked, Good. socialist! Why don't you go be a minion in your own country? Car! Move! Ah. Oh, leave me alone! All right, ready to make some weather? Storms brewing. <laughs> the forecast calls for scattered showers with a chance of chaos. <laughs> enough minion jobs for those failures. But thanks again, new kid. Who knows? Maybe we'll start our own legion of evil super villains one day. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? Bye! Here's Butt Lord now. Great job, hero. Those freedom posers have no idea you fucked them over. All right, guys, listen up. Butt Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where a little bitch and said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. But Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Classy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, But Lord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pals. What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No, new kid, absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. A brutalist, like The Thing, or a really pissed off Batman. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. As a 
you're super strong, brutalist hero. You cracked your knuckles and prepared to brawl. You met the intruder's mocking words with a swift, brutal bash. Knocked backwards, the intruder's head spun. Damn, what are you, some kind of superhero? Weakly, he retaliated. You had him on the ropes, but then two more ne'er-do-wells entered the fray from behind. So you turned around to face your new foes. Your wrecking ball like inertia sent one intruder tumbling into the other. Ow! I'll take care of the kid, fellow ne'er-do-wells. The first intruder ran into the fray, boxing you in, right where they wanted you. We've got you right where we want you, kid. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, superhero? But it was you who had them, as you executed a powerful blast from your bowels. Fucking disgusting! Oh, I can't take it anymore! Haha, <laughs> one of the thugs was so grossed out that it literally finished him off! Nice! As his companions fled, the biggest, ugliest intruder moved in closer. He threw his fist into your body. But with each hit, he only unlocked what lied beneath. Something totally brutal. <laughs> yeah, fucking sweet, man. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. Oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. Sweetie, you forgot to eat your dinner. Mommy put it down on the table. Come on, honey. Gotta eat your supper. Did you put more of that stuff in our child's food? Shut your fucking mouth! How do we know that medicine doesn't have side effects, huh? You know our child needs the medicine as much as I do! Uh, you drunken whore! Fucking butthead! How dare you make our child choose sides! You put the medicine in his food, too! I'm not having anyone choose sides. Go on down and eat your supper, champ. New kid, get dressed and meet me out front. Hurry, the night awaits. Cool room. It's about time. You know how hard it is to look mysterious when you're just standing around in some kid's front yard? It's pretty fucking hard. I'm glad you're with us, new kid. It's been tough being the only one on the team with real superpowers. While all the other kids are playing and working on their franchise plans, I'm stuck defending the city against evil, with barely any time to work on my pitch for a Mysterion spin-off movie. Sometimes it feels like a curse having these powers. You know how it is. I'm sure the power of your ass weighs heavy on you. Tina! Don't like to talk about it, huh? That's okay, I understand. Let's just get to the police station and find the evidence we need. No, Mama. No, please don't. I'll be a good boy, I promise. Please. Please don't grab me. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. It's the farting vigilante. Oh, God, I wish Jeez. I hope you like eggs. What a bunch of dicks. It's worse than I thought, new kid. This is not normal. You're really mysterious, new kid. And coming from Mysterion, that's really high praise. There they are! All right, Freedom Pals, here's the plan. Once we get inside the police station, Tool Shed and the new kid will set up a diversion and then the... Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, we've got to get inside the police station. What are you assholes doing here? We're here to investigate a hot lead regarding the South Park Police. Ah, that's what we're doing! Oh, no. No, no, this is our superhero mission, Freedom Pals. Fuck you guys. Get lost before there's a fight. Fellas, fellas, have we all forgotten there's a little girl in trouble in there? 
Fast pass is right. I suppose that just this once we should put our petty differences aside and work together. All right, Mysterion, what's the plan? I think some of us should cause a diversion. Make the cops head towards it so the rest of us can sneak in without the cops noticing. Good idea. Coon friends will go up the fire escape and cause the diversion so Freedom Pals can sneak in the front. This is all pretty coincidental. Did you guys just steal our lead again? Innocent people are being arrested, Toolshed. That's all that matters to us. It should be all that matters to you. Okay, Coon friends up the fire escape. Come on, guys. Stand by. We gotta wait for the diversion. Come take a look at this. Oh, man, that's strong shit. Yeah, does this coke seem a little off to you? No, no, this is sweet. You guys want to call some hookers? What the fuck was that? Come on, let's check it out. Bring the coke. All right, come on, Butlord. The coast is clear. Oh, shit, a criminal! And he's with an innocent child! Code red, assault on the precinct! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Ah, shit. I guess we're dealing with these guys ourselves. if you're carrying any drugs. I wouldn't want them to get broken. Ooh, quick, what's the code for cop on fire? The weather's about to turn! Thunderbolt and lightning! Ta-da! I need lightning happen! Alright! We need backup! Oh shit, there's a black kid here! That's enough! Just stand down, kid! Look, I know why you're here. You're fed up. Because you think all cops do is harass black people. I know that to a young kid it can seem like cops are racist and bigoted, but you can't believe what the media tells you. Cops are just people, like you. Your friends, your family, people who work hard to- Spook! Oh, uh, Tupperware! Damn it, Levinsky, get your ass upstairs, sir! And turn on the alarm! That fucking asshole shot at me! <laughs> get him! Hey, get us out of here! Token, thank God you're here, son. Dad, what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, I know this looks bad. 
You really think cops just go around arresting black people for no reason? What purpose could that possibly serve? It's reverse discrimination, that's what it is. If we were all black cops and our jails were filled with white people, nobody would say a word. So I guess you've learned that the real bigots here are you. Huh, kids? Guess you can all go home. No? Fuck. We're innocent, so breaking out of jail isn't a crime, right? I'm not sticking around to find out. I smell a class action lawsuit. Supreme Court, here we come. Token, what did I tell you about playing too rough? Mom, I was defending justice. I don't care what you were defending. You could have gotten hurt. But Tupperware can't get hurt. He's impervious to pain. Is he impervious to getting his butt spanked? No. That's right. That did it! Okay, new kid. We have to sneak past this guy to that door over there. Uh, you go. Ugh. Hell yes. Ah. Nice. I mean, nice. Let's go. You know what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that scramble! What? You found the missing cat, butt lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief, top floor! What can I say, you kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good. Eating the Subway sandwiches. His name is Jared, and he's still looking good. Hey, kids. You want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. I just love conjugal visits. Ah. Weep not for thine enemies. They're like total assholes. Well, you kids are pretty tough. But now let's see how you deal with my AIDS. Crap! Jared's AIDS are gonna kill us! <sighs> Hey, you think it's easy being Mr. Fogel's PR team? I haven't... Time anomaly detected. I'll put you on ice. Ooh. Adjusting tougher climate controls. Damn, Mysterion, it's like you actually trained for this shit or something. Tupper tornado, point. That was a class 5 Tupper tornado. Wow, oh, looks like you need to eat. Microaggression! Hit him! Ah. If you like hard candy, just reach into my pocket. Please refrain from reaching into my client's pocket. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Did I stain your jammies? Guess you better take them off! I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No, no, please, please, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything. What is the police chief hiding? There's, there's more cells down below. Cops take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? But come on, how should I know, huh? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, I seen him type it in. 1477, please, I, I'm sorry. It's just that I like being with children, you know, because I, because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids, because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. Wow, dude. 
Dude, that was hardcore. All right, well, that was pretty uncomfortable. I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we do anything with the body? Yeah. <sighs> This is a one-time shot, Coon. After tonight, we are enemies again. Our petty little differences aren't what matter right now, Mysterion. Black lives matter. Yeah, dick. You're a fucking dick, Mosquito. Man. What was that? Hello? Hello, is someone there? No, I guess no one's there. Or else they would have said something. All right then. It's just me and you, Kitty. No one's gonna find us in here. Come on, give me that good stuff. Hey, stop it. Hold still. Oh, bananas, the cat got away. Can't see a thing in here. Sounds like the cat's getting into the toxic chemicals. Oh, darn it, that's not good. I hope those weren't the toxic chemicals I was just talking about that broke on the floor just now. Oh no, I, I think they were. Drat. If those chemicals mix together on the floor, it'll turn into a gas that'll kill me in seconds. Blast it, there's the gas. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely killing me now. <laughs> oh, oh! Thank God, the exhaust fan's sucking out the toxic gas. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Now, where's that blasted cat? <laughs> oh no! I think the cat just jumped into the exhaust fan and jammed it. The gas is filling up the room and it's killing me again. I'm dying again. Sounds like the emergency door closed. Yep, the emergency door closed. I'm trapped in here. I need to get out of here. Just have to <coughs> feel around for the doorknob. Here, here it is. Yes, I'm saved. Oh, blast it. The door's locked. Now I'm stuck in here. Somebody help me. The gas is killing me. I'm really dying this time. Seriously, I can feel myself dying. It's so painful. Help for the, for the love of everything up here. If you're there and you can hear me right now, do something. It's it's killing me. It's killing me. Wait. I think I feel the light switch. With my last breath, I'll just turn it on. Biohazard detected. Oh, geez. You didn't do all that, did you, new kid? Here, little mean me. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here now. Cool said, always right for the job. Shabnigaraf, Black Goat of the Woods. Blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigaraf, Black Goat of 1,000 morbid young. Draw down the moon and extinguish the sun. All right, let him go. No! Ah, uh, sir? Huh? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shub Niggeroth is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. 
But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist too. Oh, fuck. Was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboys! Get me the fuck up out of here! These niggas completely crack! Let's end it! Alright, you kids want a battle? Let's do this. Don't forget the mission. We have to get you know who out of here. Okay, chuck another one in. Aw, oh, fucking hell no! Ow! Oh, shit! No! The All Mother can't stand white meat! Mother demands black flesh. Get in. Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. Time to show off my tool set. Double screw. Wow. I can't believe your dad was dumb enough to lend you his tools, Two Shed. At least I have a dad. Ow. Now that was a punching. Yeah, let's fuck these guys up. I like our odds. Just fucking ovulating! This one's all me. Here's coming through! Hey, Coom, nice of you to give a cosplay option to the plus size. Yeah, like your fat bitch, mom. Uh, got him! Enjoy! It's about fucking time. not let you bring harm to the goat with a thousand young. I'm here to protect thee, my queen. Wow, I'm almost impressed. Oh yeah, take that, bitch. This. You like the Punisher, if he was a disgruntled hardware store employee. Oh my god, that was so awesome, you guys! Get your mom to kiss that boo-boo. Freedom Pals, there's a certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked. Ah, oh, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kind of totally fucked you guys over. Sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, Freedom P Pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them Freedom Pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan! We deserve that hundred dollar reward! Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us! We will! Civil War III, it's going down! That's it, new kid. We're gonna rip you apart! No, Mysterion! We won't fight the new kid. They will. Alright, new kid. Time to die! Let's get this little shit! Shield me from your mental powers. Okay, but then why didn't my brain get hacked? Ooh, I like the way you make chaos. 
lost the coon. Oh well. Timmy, stop raping my mind, goddammit. All right, Butthole, let's do this. Ow. Cartman's cooning for keeps. You're gonna love this. Uh, Good luck on catching yourself from all those. Get the new kid! Get him! You want to put some aloe on that. Hey, uh... oh, God, we're losing! No, it's fine. The doctor infected my brain. But but I'm back now, Fart Lord, and I'm ready to suck. <laughs> Say cheese! You are hereby unfollowed. Ah, get out of my head, Dr. Timothy! I'm with you, butthole! Yeah. Oh, wow, that was so weird. That's not cool, Timothy. I'm back on Team Butthole now. I'm so angry at you, new kid. Well fought, new kid. I guess we'll have to settle this the old-fashioned way. Correct spot. Clyde's keeping it real. Real yucky. The forces of chaos are smiling upon you! Hey, you've made the world a better place for chaos! Oh. Well played, my temporary ally! Congrats, super friends! Why can't we all just be friends again? The odds are increasingly in our favor! Congo kind of kicks ass, you guys! Aw, thanks, Butters! Who is it, Butters? I am Professor Chaos! Nice. Stew that troll in his own juices. Ooh, oh, he yeah. knocked that bitch down to Kyle's reading level. We couldn't have done it without chaos. Whoa, what the... What happened? How'd my lip get busted? Where the fuck did Classy go? Dr. Timothy! You fucking animal! He was trying to help us! Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom pals and coon friends! What? Ah, Tim, 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 Tim. Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guy's base? This is fantastic! This looks like so much fun. Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. Oh my god, he's figured it out. It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus, this is incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it. <laughs> so while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys, no more civil war. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah, let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together, Freedom Pals, Retribution, but, but with inclusion! Fuck yeah, you guys, let's do this.
And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, Sal Park. An attack on the SPPD police station last night has left citizens in shock and disbelief. With prisoners now on the loose and policemen in the hospital, one member of the Chamber of Commerce has had enough and is announcing his bid for mayor. The citizens of South Park deserve to feel safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together, we can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. Don't you sometimes feel like you have no idea what to do next? Like you haven't been given any direction and you're unsure what's even going on? My child, it's because you've been trying to find yourself in the wrong way. Knowing your sexual identity or race or ethnicity, that's nothing compared to knowing who you are spiritually. Go to the pond, my child. Someone is waiting for you at the pond who will finally help you find your true self. Kid, over here. I've been watching you, and I believe we can help each other. Have you heard of the Super Best Friends? Well, it is I, Seaman. A powerful superhero with the amazing ability to talk to fish and swim. It's Seaman. That's Seaman. It is my job to help all creatures of the sea. And right now, there is a gay fish who wants help getting his mother into heaven. I want to help the little gay fish, but all the other super best friends keep saying they're too busy. Will you help? Then swim down to the water's depth with me. Don't worry, my water defenses shall protect you. And so, the new kid dives down through the water, protected by seamen. Seaman! Down to where the little gay fish makes his home. Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Do not cry, little fish. I have returned and with help. Oh, thank you, Seaman. You really think you can help my mom get to heaven? It's Seaman, and yes, I do. This child has incredible powers. All right, if you get my mom into heaven, I will give you $3 million and some jewelry. Just touch my little gay flipper, and we shall be magically transported to help her. Touching the gay fish's flipper, Seaman and his sidekick are transported to Valhalla where another fish rides a unicorn. I'm here, Mama. Is that you, baby? It's me. We're going to get you to heaven, Mama. Just hold on. This kid's going to help us. OK, baby, whatever you say, you little gay fish. And so, Seaman's sidekick had to help the gay fish's mom fly to heaven on a stream of rainbow unicorn farts. That's Sea Man again. This road leads right to heaven, Ma. Watch out for those columns. We should put this whole event on a gold disc and send it into space so that aliens can see it. But even as the gay fish's mom got closer to heaven, the path became more treacherous. We're blowing lines up in here. Uh-oh, you're going so fast. I'll just get to heaven quicker, baby. I made it. Thanks for your help, baby. I love you, mama. I'll see you soon, baby. Yep, I'll see you soon, my... Wait, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Mama! Hold on a sec. What is that? You have done very well, my child. Thank you, Jesus. Not you, Seaman. The kid. Seaman! Oh, yeah, right. Anyway... You had no reason to help this little gay fish, my child. And yet, you did. Kid had every reason to help me. I'm a lyrical genius, voice of a generation. I see that you were trying to determine your spirituality, my child. Allow me to help thee. There are good and bad in every religion, my child. Which are you? Okay, you're a lawful agnostic. Oh wait, I bet you want a selfie with Jesus, right? Congratulations, my child. You know who you are now. You are one step closer to believing in yourself. Good luck, my little lawful agnostic. Looky 
what we've got here. We've got ourselves a cisgender, heterosexual, white, American, lawful, agnostic. Dang, Cletus, why are you talking like that? Dialogue tree. Oh, I got you. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. Come to Sky Swoops Justice. Yeah. Ooh, they put a hex on me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quit oppressing my belief system. I'm gonna beat you straight. It's the only way. Yeah. Ooh. We don't take kindly to different viewpoints around here. Oh, I ain't turning the other cheek. I'm feeling me. I'm gonna teach you the gospel of... Got him. This might sting. You fucking believer of stuff different than me. Double screw. Yeah. Oh. All right. Only they would stoop to this level. No, this was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message, full screen. Oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, God damn it! Looks like I had something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid had something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch! Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't... He hit me. Did you see that? Get outside, and then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry, or else there'll be more of this. Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, Cat. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. New kid, you believe me, don't you? I'll prove my innocence, you assholes. Come on, we gotta get that fat fuck. What did he tell you? All right, new kid. I'm gonna tell you where to go, and you're gonna go there on foot. No fast travel. You got that? The first one is easy. Go to the place where people get their coffee fix. Better hurry. Tick tock, tick tock. When you get to the location, you're gonna see a guy in a red shirt. Go talk to him. Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? I don't know if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. Hello? It's for you. That's real good, new kid. But now I'm gonna make things a little harder on you. Instead of telling you where to go, I'm giving you a riddle. You ready? A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes. Go into this door to find what your prize is. Dude, I'm so wasted on this stuff. But Lord, it's me, buddy. A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes? What, what could it mean? We've got to solve this riddle. Take down Connor together and prove our innocence. And hey, thanks for being the only one who believes in me. Hey, new kid. I've been following what's going on. I'm trying to pinpoint Cartman's location. For now, just do what he says so he doesn't get suspicious. 
no, 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 no. Let gay fish be gay fish. That's what I'm saying. Sure, you don't understand it. How could you? Just let gay fish be gay fish. What's the gay fish doing, Lacey? That's my great challenge. That's the weight on my shoulders to bring understanding to the people. You understand? Well, I, uh... But how could you? You're working from an old model. I'm an original. You know, artists come up to me all the time. They're like, gay fish, where do you get inspiration? And that's all wrong, because I don't get inspiration. I always had it. I popped out of the fish egg, and I was a gay fish. Day one, original. And gay fish is something that can't be changed, because it's inside me and all around me. It's like air. Or water. No, like air. We in the air, right? And that's why I ain't afraid of tomorrow. Tomorrow don't scare me like it scared you. Well, I'm actually not afraid of tomorrow. I'm looking forward to... Nah, bro. You scared because you scared of the unknown. But see, I ain't scared because I know tomorrow I will be... Motherfucking Jimbo's gun, stupid answers. Jimbo's gun. I don't know. I, I, this, I, this just seems like an unnecessary conversation. Today I watched my mama ascend to heaven on the back of a unicorn. Yeah, she hit some columns. We all hit some columns in life. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But only gay fish's mama bounces off a few columns on the way up to heaven on a motherfucking unicorn. I didn't see anybody else's mama riding the unicorn to heaven while we was up there, did you? No, because that was some original gangster gay fish shit. In conclusion, that's My why you gotta let gay tingling. fish be gay fish. Um, well said. Thank you, Captain Ejaculate and Seaman. man <laughs> Chopping my ninja stuff for nothing. So you solved my riddle, huh? You're not as dumb as I thought. You see the guy standing over there? Take a selfie with him. Do it now, your mom is gonna suffer. You're getting close, new kid. But to find me, you're gonna have to solve one more riddle. I am a place where seats hang from chains. Part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. Think you can quell our chaos? How did you solve my riddle? God, you're so smart. Wow, I'm so jelly. All right, you see that woman there? Go talk to her. He... He told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Get a selfie with her. Do it now! I'm sorry. He, he said he would poop on my patio. What was I supposed to do? We just cleaned our patio. I had to do what he said. <laughs> that should just about do it. Sorry, kid. I have what I need now. See you around. New kid, I got him. All of his messaging has been coming from the community center. You heard her, Freedom Pals! Everyone get to the community center now! Where's everyone else? Doesn't matter. There's no time. Let's get this fat turd while we can. All right, one, two, three! <gasps> oh my god, look! Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet. But when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Carmen. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. We have to stop him, you guys. He's got all the new kids' followers now. Even with their help, you can't stop me, King. We'll see about that, motherfucker. All right, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him. <laughs> we can stop Mitch Connor, guys. Just try not to hit me. How about this? Yeah. Poor King, you seem to be taking all the damage. Yeah, because these guys can't aim. Uh, uh, what the fuck, new kid? I thought you were on my side. <laughs> Even the new kid has turned his back on you, Keen. Uh, take it easy, Butt Lord. I want to find your parents as much as anybody. Yeah. Your coon friends don't seem very friendly toward you now, Keen. Gunslinger! Oh, your muscular body makes the most effective human shield, Keen. I am known for my super strength, you son of a bitch. Ah. Job's done. Wow, you did it, guys. You beat Mitch Carter. Where are they? Where are they? 
the new kid's parents. <laughs> You'll never know. Connor, no! Shit, he's gone! Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human catch? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're gonna torture me for what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the king! What the? What is wrong with you guys? I am not your enemy. You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the Coon. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? So, so what? I, I just have to watch you eat? Is that it? I'm, I'm not afraid. Is that a cuttlefish? Oh, no, I, I prefer salmon myself. See? It, it doesn't even phase me. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the bad guy. No, oh, fuck. Not, no, not even a little bit. I can gobble those farts up. See? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, this is so weak. No, oh, yum, yum, yum. No, those farts don't bother me at all. Hit him again. Oh, gee. Well, I, I guess we're done here, huh? Can someone reach around and get this knot? Well, actually, the asparagus might taste better with my vomit. <laughs> oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. They're not. <coughs> oh, no. oh, oh, wait, 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 you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, God, the cats. What cats? I just remembered. C Connor. I think the, the fudge jarred my memory. The, he said something about making cats more powerful than. than the, yeah, that's it. He must, he must want to genetically alter the cats. The genetics lab. Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, guys. All right, the new kid's here. Come on, new kid. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. We signed up for the tour. Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree, we're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. How long now? Still about six hours. Okay, cool. This sure is gonna be exciting in six hours. Shut up, Scott. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending ass. 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 Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. Quickly. You see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you, over by the gate. On the left side, can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. 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 Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fart in the fan. Come on. I'll fire it up for you, right now. Some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Timmy! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. 
Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asked gorilla feeding. You ever seen the movie Jurassic Park? Just follow standard insertion procedures and everything will be fine. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Oh, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These? Horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? No, oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. Problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pal. I've got the door ready to open. Oops, now I've done it. Stay away, kitty! <coughs> Ow! Oh god, it stings! <laughs> Top-notch lasering, dude. I feel I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for human flesh. Oh, soda water gets out blood stains, right? From nylon, too? Chaos! 
Oops, I think I just did something bad to the generator. Fellas, the blood spatter is really cool, but it's freaking me out. Laser drills. Dad doesn't let me watch him play with his tools. Must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. The mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> School's so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, adults are stupid. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it! Not it! Not, not it! Not it! Not it. <laughs> not it! Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Okay, you should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Look at the little fourthy! Come here, dork! Hey, Jasper! Get over here, dude! There's a picture of some boobs, man! Boobs? I wanna see some boobs! Where? Me and the Timbo! Your fourthy think you're smart because you go to school! Arr, school's dumb! You think you're tougher than me? Well, you're not. God, I hate you for these so bad. You're dead meat, twerps. Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. He's out of his mind! Cartman, you fucking asshole, what are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I joined the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think, pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick, take a selfie. It's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Oh no, I've got all the new kid's followers. Every last one of them is now following me! Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. Nah, nah, nah. God damn it! 
Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. Oh, looks like all the mutated animals have broken loose. Welp. about to cut off your father's head to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in his life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry! What'd she say? Did she say how nothing is her fault, like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child two sides! That's so unfair! I'm trapped inside of a... Thingy. My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get Mommy's arm. That should do it. No! No, kiddo! That operates the laser! Stop! You're gonna kill Daddy! Please! Your mom has you confused! She's the problem! Go kill her! I've done nothing but love you! This is your last chance! Don't hit that last button! Wait, wait, wait! Before you do this! Before you do this, go ask your mom about what she's been putting in your food. Trust me, just go ask her, you'll want to know this. Sweetie, you have to cut off your father's head. I know it's hard, but it's the only way. The control panel is right on the table, sweetie. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Did that fucking bitch put you up to this? She's a snake, a uh, witch! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! You did the right thing, sweetheart. Now get out of here and go get help. Mommy's proud of you. Organic DNA sample accepted. Somebody get me out of here! Help! Hey, you're that stupid little forty! Get me out of here! Get me out of here, twerp! They're trying to give me more butts! When I tell you to do something, you better do it, forty! <laughs> That wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You're just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, 
freedom pals. Can't advance, can't advance, can't advance. Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. Ah! You shut up, King. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What, what have, have you done, done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, King? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? to observe a genetically augmented superhero squashing his tiny foes into a viscous red pace. Pretend I'm not here. Back up! Ow! Oh, okay, no, no, watch the eyes, please. Easy. I'm sure this will wear off eventually. That was uncalled for. Inside the ass that counts. Oh, oh, I think I got a pulled muscle. I don't think I should play anymore. It, it. Nuki, are you okay? That last fart might have killed you. That was pretty amazing, dude. I've never heard anyone rip one like that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the tour. Maybe now you have a new appreciation for what genetic engineering has to offer. You're now all free to exit right through the gift shop. Gift shop? Feel free to look around before enjoying the rest of your day. Perhaps you'd like to buy a I Survived Genetic Mutants t-shirt, or purchase a photo of you enjoying the tour. 
Lots of great things to remember your visit. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. All right, we gotta go tell on Cartman. Ah, who do we tell? I don't know, what time is it? It's, oh shit, oh no! What is it, Mysterion? Dude, the new kid farted so big he made it next week. What? Check your phones, it's 10 days later. Oh great, the new kid farted us to next week. Damn it, he screwed us! Way to go, new kid. Cartman's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault. Come on, Freedom Pals, we have to stop him. Yeah! Woohoo! We won, bitches, we won! Yeah! Yeah! The whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress. How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants. He's mayor. Look, up in the window. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna pass so many laws and fuck you guys so hard right now. Oh, no. It's over. We lost. But we can't lose. Face it, Kyle. Thanks to the new kid, Cartman is mayor, and there's no one left to help us. New kid. New kid, come in. Who is that? Pretty sure that's Morgan Freeman. New kid, there's been some kind of time shift anomaly. I can only assume it came from your ass. Come to the taco shop. We have to fix this. You heard the man. All Freedom Pals report to Freeman's Tacos now. We should take the law into our hands more often! All right, the new kid's here. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. How do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He farted us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? Now you must fart back in time to before Mitch Connor was sworn into office. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Oh, shit! New kid, I don't think it's working. Are you sure you're believing in yourself? Oh, no. You didn't believe in yourself! You didn't believe in yourself! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays, yo! Yeah, it's Christmas, girl! Let's get fucked up! What the fuck? We're too late! The new kid sent us forward in time! To when Cartman is already mayor! You have to take us back, new kid. Back to before this all happened. It isn't working. I think maybe the new kid has a fractured butthole. Fractured butthole? That's ridiculous. Toolshed is right. We have to get the kid to a doctor fast. Be careful, new kid. South Park is a really scary place on Christmas. Oh, hey, boys. Merry Christmas. I'm so fucked up. I feel like it's been Christmas for a year. What'd they put in these drinks? Mr. Mackey, there's cheese in your alcohol. You have to stop drinking. No, but it's the holidays, boys. You guys know the wrong with a little drink on the Oh, God, it's them again! <laughs> Now, don't be scared, y'all. We're simply here to celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, look, it's the vigilante the mayor told us about. If we murder him, we get a prize. Yay! 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 Oh, it looks like a rumble. That really warmed him up. Oh, Foxy, your duck magic is just excellent! Hail Satan! Ah, nothing finer than Hailfire! Dude, these critters are impossible to beat! They're gonna kill us! It's over, man! Wait a minute, it's 
Christmas. I know who can help. New Kid, you have to pray to Christ. Yes, yes, of course. New Kid, you have to put your faith in Christ. Do you understand? Pray to Jesus, New Kid, is our only hope. That's not enough, New Kid. You have to pray to Christ more. Beg for his salvation. Come on, New Kid, put your faith in Jesus. Pray to Christ or we're all dead. The new kid did it! Someone's coming! Alright, who the fuck called Santa down from the sky? You killed my reindeer! Ho ho ho! Yow. Hey, look! It's Santa Claus! Santa Claus? Well, now maybe we can eat his flesh. Hail Satan! Oh, you little fuck critters again, huh? Santa's gonna kick the shit out of you! Well, Shucks, we weren't expecting Santa to show up. Whatever will we do? We're in a bit of a bind, Rabbity. Don't be sad, Barry. Shucks, I can just sacrifice myself. Hooray! Santa's about to go to town on your ass. <laughs> Season's beatings. Go back to that fucking drill. Oh, oh, oh my, I should be more careful. That's one less creature steering. <laughs> that was some quality chaos, I guess. Harder, master. Beat me harder. Oh, hot. Go interrupt someone else's satanic ceremony, you silly goobers. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going into heat. My rap will tell you to fill in the plate. <laughs> Let the winds of chaos blow you, human cage. You saying you want to blow me, chaos? <laughs> Fuck these guys up. Good. Rest in peace and hell, chummy chum. Touch. Ah, I think we just learned an important lesson in eye protection. You're welcome, kids. Now, what the fuck is this all about? We're sorry, but we're trying to go back in time, but the new kid has a fractured butthole, so we're trying to get him to the abortion clinic. Oh, I see. All right, you kids get his ass fixed. Santa will hold off these drunken fuckwads. Get moving to the abortion clinic. Hey, stand back, kids. We got a lot of abortions today. It's Christmas. We need a doctor to look at our friend's asshole. Let me guess, he's got a big crack down the middle, ha ha. No! Please, you have to listen. None of this is supposed to happen. The mayor has to be stopped. We know how to do it. The mayor? That scumbag made the town the shithole it is today. We can put a stop to it, please. Just look at our friend's ass. Yeah, it's fractured, all right. Can you fix it? Well, I put a splint on it and a little sling to take pressure off the sphincter. Try it, kid. Try to take us back. You can do it, new kid. You got this, butthole. Holy shit, dude!
We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The heathens are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come fight, my leaves. You're our only hope. Who's that? Hey, we're not playing superheroes, dumbass. Come on, you kid. Get out of the way, you guys. We've got to stop Cartman before he starts all this. What are you kids doing? We stopped playing superheroes like five days ago. Yeah, get lost, douchebags. This isn't a trek. It's me, Craig. Fuck you, dude. I'm Craig. We don't have time for this. Stand aside. We have to get to Cartman. Well, you just have to get past us and our king. Take the key! You can't smite our king! Whoa, Hamburgers! Come back, king! The king's strongest warrior can handle these weirdos! For the king! For the king! All hail the king! I'll take you on! Me? I got your back, man! These primitives have no chance against our future tech. fighting all of us yourself, past self. I wouldn't be so foolish, stupid Craig. Uchin no jutsu. Are you serious? That's so fucking lame. Ugh, guess I gotta take this asshole on. I got your back, Craig. Okay, I'll be the third wheel.
Well, your take on JRPG combat was dated. Aha! <laughs> oh, shit, why'd it have to come to this? Laser death! Joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi, kids. I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys! I was just traveling back in time to find you! A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass! Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals! We're all Freedom Pals! We're from the future, you fat turd! No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to stick a truth times to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore! We know everything! Show us your left hand! My left hand for what? Show us your fucking left hand! Heh. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pass. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch? Connor, what the hell are you doing here? I had a plan to use the new kid as means to get what I always wanted. But it looks like some do-gooders traveled back in time to stop me. Cartman, I swear to God, if you don't knock it off, I'm- But that's okay, because I still know something you all don't. What's that? How to make someone fart super bad by hitting them in the solar plexus? Yeah! Connor, no! Where are we now, Connor? We're in the time that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. You walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self, so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door? Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with, the, like, a zillion followers, right? We just thought... Well, we thought that if you could add us, and maybe... You know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Our moment. Our moment is finally here. Wow. It's happening. We did it, everyone! I, I'm so happy! Oh, hey, kiddo. Everything all right? G go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another team, team, team! Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God, I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities. Powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day, I created a Facebook profile and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes, by day they ran experiments, and by night we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's, you received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, 
You were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape. Because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god, I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey, I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh, God, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? Downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? All right, let's get this thing started. Look, Butt Lord. Today is a great day for South Park. This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor. It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls to finally turn shit around. We did it, Butler. It's Inauguration Day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Let's do this! Come on! We can still stop this fucker! There he is! Guys? Y you're alive? Oh, thank God! Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in! Come on, guys, we gotta stop him! You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit! You're gonna finally admit this was all you! I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys! Stop this! You are Mitch Connor! Admit it, Cartman! No, I'm not, Cal! Admit it! No, Cal! I have no control over Mitch Connor! You are Mitch Connor! You've always been Mitch Connor! And you better stop right fucking now! Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens! That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Coon? Shoes on the other hand? Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Coon? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the Coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me? Or the Keen? <laughs> Knock it off, Cow. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cow. This whole turn of events has boggled even my giant brain. New rule, any damage I take goes to the coon. What? Ah, fuck! Uh, status effects too. What the, what the hell? Mitch, stop! This is cruel! No can do, human cat. It's the ruse. You son of a bitch! Oof! No, I'm on your side! Uh, 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 yeah, you went out the way. This isn't fair! I'll say. Well, 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 good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, god fucking damn it. Mitch, no! Yeah. Sucks to be you because I was over here. Now, you think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Uh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. 
Let's dance, Faker. Back up! <laughs> It'll take more than that to take me out, Freedom Pals. Well, that was a nice fight, guys. <laughs> It'll take more than that, Freedom Pals. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Yeah. Our brutalist is getting brutalized. Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake. Carbon, this is your fault. Ugh. You're going down. Ha -ha. Nicely done, Freedom Pal. Drop it, Kyle! You fucking drop it! That ass! Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us! Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he! Fine! Maybe I'll admit it! I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys! But only if Kyle admits to it first! I'm not saying anything until he does! You admit it first! Alright, fine! We'll both admit it! At the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait, wait, stop! No. What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and Friends franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. What? Look! Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right! You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad. Got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, kid! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this. Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you, you kill me! Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody! Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over! Let's yeah! Go!
<laughs> you're the tickle bunny. No, you're the tickle bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. In fact, kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, my kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always fuck your mom. <laughs>
Maybe you can't do that on television. Oh, yeah, yeah, remember that? I remember, yeah. Oh, I remember, I loved it. Remember when Canada was like an old school RPG? Sure, I remember that.